them, give them. Is it possible to have a violent free general election after scenes like this marred the NRM party primaries in many parts of the country? Many observers think the general election may be even worse. The Electoral Commission agrees to some extent. The same Ugandan people who are involved in those violent traits or episodes during the NRM primaries, the candidates who are participating in those processes are the same people. But as a commission, we don't want to be overly pessimistic. The commission's chairman, Justice Simon Biabakama, says they are poised to carry out a nationwide sensitization campaign and they hope Ugandans can be made to hate election violence. In the, in the next few days, we are going out across the country to send out the message, loud and clear, that police, what happened in the NRM primaries, should not be repeated in the general elections. As the commission runs the campaign, Piabakama thinks the move to punish those who perpetrated the NRM polls violence can boost their message ahead of the general elections. We need to start taking those measures in order to create a deterrent effect in our electoral processes. Yabakama was releasing the program for election of special interest groups at municipality and city division level as well as local government council elections. Nomination for youth, elderly and people with disability committees are set for 21st and 22nd of September. Campaigns will start on the 23rd of September. Elections for older persons committees will be on the 25th of September, 28th September for people with disabilities and 30th September for youth committees. We feel challenged by the concerns that voter education is not visible or loud enough. We feel challenged, and we are rising up to the challenge to address it. In the next few days, I believe we are going to see a, a different trajectory in that matter. Nominations of candidates for local government council elections are scheduled for between 21st September and 1st October. Edward Muhumza, NTV.